has done. Amen. Amen. But he's worthy to be praised. Worthy. I know in this life right now, seems like things are going in the opposite direction. Amen. Amen. But we all know we serve a God. That will never change. Amen. Never change. How many of y'all believe that he will never change? He will never change. He will never change. He will never change. Hallelujah. So the praise team came this morning to offer you some encouragement. When your days get a little rough, things are going opposite. You say, God, where are you? You just got to remember that he's everywhere. And we just want to say to you this morning, he was Jesus yesterday. He's Jesus today. He'll be Jesus tomorrow. I'm a cry out to you. 
want to be my Jesus. Forever. One more thing we want to say. He was my shalom. Yesterday. to God. Same God. Amen. How many of you are seeking a miracle this morning from that God? The same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow can perform that same miracle. How many believe that this morning? The songwriter says, there's a miracle in this room with my name on there's a healing in this room, and it's here for me. There's a breakthrough. How many of you seeking, seeking a breakthrough in this room? And it's got my name on it. Come on now, yes. And I'm going to put a praise on it. I'm going to put a praise on it. Somebody put a praise on it. Yeah. Put your Holy Ghost hands together and let's worship God. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's sing praise to him. There's a miracle. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. There's a healing. There's a healing yeah. in this room, and it's here for me. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough in this room, with my name on it. Oh, so what you, what you, what you gonna do? I'm gonna put a praise on it. Where my praise is at? I'm gonna put a praise. I'm gonna put a praise on it. Yeah. Somebody put a praise. I'm gonna put a praise on it. I'm gonna put a praise. I'm gonna put a praise on it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's sing it one more time. That's a miracle. There's a miracle in this room. With my name with on my it. Name Call your names out. It. Call your names. There's a healing. There's a healing How many of you seeking room, a special healing right now this morning? How many of you need a breakthrough, break There's out of that thing, whatever that thing is? Hallelujah. Oh, so what you, what you, what you gonna do? I'm gonna put a praise on it. Hallelujah. I'm gonna put a praise. I'm gonna put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Somebody put a praise. 
Look at your neighbor and say, guess what? I'm going to put a praise. I'm going to put a praise on it. Come on, praise team. Let's declare and decree. Oh. Oh. in this room yes lord with my name on it i'm serious about this y'all there's a healing in this room and it's here for me you believe that there's a breakthrough there's a breakthrough. Yes, Lord. There's a breakthrough. Yes, Lord. There's a breakthrough. Hey, Bahama, get it, Bahuba. There's a breakthrough. Somebody been going through for a long time. Yes, Lord. 
you need a break, break from God. There's a breakthrough. Breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. You need to physically put your hands up and reach for that thing. There's a breakthrough. breakthrough. Hallelujah. Help me out, Mika. There's a breakthrough. Breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. Oh. In this room. In this room. And it's got my name. mercy. Hey, ha, ma, ma. You could have been dead. Should have been dead. Sleeping in your grave. But God saw fit to say death, you must get back and behave. Not now. Not now. That healing you're waiting on. That breakthrough you're waiting on. Hallelujah. God can do it. Praise the word tells us when you praise God, let Sister Abram, the word tells you when you praise God, pull that thing down. Blessings come down. When you praise him, he got to come through. There's no doubt about it. I trust him. Do you trust him this morning? We going to put a praise on it. We got to put a praise on it. Hallelujah. We need to put a praise on it. Yes, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the doctors say. You can praise your way through. You can praise your way out. You can praise your way in. God is a way maker. He's a way maker. He's a way maker. He shall do it. He shall do it. It shall come to pass. No need to worry. No need to doubt. We're going to put a praise on it. Hallelujah. I'm going to end it like this. Let's go into war cry. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. How many believe that there's a miracle in this place with your name on it? There's a breakthrough in this place with your name on it. There's a healing place with your name on it. Amen. Whatever we need from the Lord, trust God that he's able to give it to each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The psalm that says in Psalm 95, come let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come to him with thanksgiving, and that is what we have already begun to do. Let us sing psalms and praise to him, for the Lord is a great God. Yes, he is. He is a great God and a great king above all gods. He holds his hands, the depths of this earth, and the mighty mountains are his. The Lord is do every praise we can offer up to him this day. Amen. Amen. Your praise may not be as loud as others, but as long as your praise goes to God, that's a praise to the Lord. And guess what? He will bless you. Your name is already on it. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory for this day. We're just so excited for how the Lord is keeping us in this evil time on earth. You know, God is good. God is good. In our community this week, they was rolling a lady. She was transitioning already, but they was rolling her from one room to the next. And the lady died on her way to the other room. 
I mean, the family was coming to see and say last words to her. Before they could even do that, she just passed away in transition. So I'm just saying life is precious, y'all. Life is precious, and while we live, and let's give the Lord the praise. Amen. Amen. God is good to us because we're here and we're able to stretch our arms up to Him. We're able to shout joyfully unto Him. We're able to show love to one another one more time. God is just a good God to us. Amen. Amen. I'm grateful today. I'm grateful. I'm grateful today. Oh, yes. God, God is just good. Yeah, cars pass around you 100 miles per hour out of control, and the Lord will take us anyhow. Yes, God is good. Oh, yes, sir. I'm ready to praise him, and I'm glad you all are too. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we're going to call our pastor to the front So for our call to worship. Amen. Let us continue to praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in our mouth. Thank you, praise team, for uh, tempering the atmosphere. You praise angels. Amen. God bless you for that. To all of God's people, we thank you and welcome you into the house of the Lord. And those that are listening or viewing us virtually, God bless you as well. This is a good day that the Lord has provided for us, and we have come into this place to worship him. Amen. And as it has been said, the Lord has been good to us all week long and provided everything we needed for life and for godliness, and we give him thanks and praise for that. Amen. We're now going to uh, have a song uh, or hymn of praise at this time by our um, may of course. Amen. Amen. Standing, yeah, he's dripping and 
drop, dipping and dropping in the water, get falling. Dipping and dropping, dropping in the water, get falling. Dipping and dropping, dropping in the water, get falling. Dipping and dropping, dropping in the water, get falling. Dipping and dropping, dropping in the water, get falling. Dipping and dropping, dropping in the water, get falling. No more war, fight next time. Next time. Oh, that's true. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Mayor Chorus, for no more water reminding us, telling us. Amen. God Almighty. Yes, indeed. Praise the Lord. Boy, I want to cut a piece of that cake, boy. Jesus. Lord have mercy. Amen, 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 amen. Let us pray, let us pray. Father, we just thank you for the blessings of this day and uh, your goodness to us, Lord, early this morning. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see the bright sunshine and experience, Lord, this day. We thank you, Lord, for being God to us. You're always God. You're always good. You're always the God of grace and mercy and forgiveness. You're the God of restitution. You're the God of restoration. You're the God of deliverance. You're the God that heals. You, the God that sets free. We thank you, Lord, for sitting high, yet is willing to condescend to our level of living to understand how struggles fight that we have in this world we Lord pray that you continue to be who you've been being be that today to us and bless us with your presence today by the power of your word and spirit 
that we may honor you and worship you and thank you and praise you for who you are and how you are. You been all that we needed and Lord there's so many that still needs you. We need you and somebody need a touch from you today and somebody need a healing. Somebody need to be lifted. Somebody needs joy. Somebody needs strength for today and we pray God that you provide everything we need for life and for godliness this day. Give us spiritual ears now to hear what you have to say to us today through your word by the power of your spirit. We pray much for our nation that is in turmoil constantly. Oh God, we're fighting over this and fighting over that, but there is only one God that seeks righteousness. We ask, Lord, that you would help us to do that. And we pray, God, for this entire world. We pray for the suffering all across this world. But we know that you're sovereign over all. You know all things. And, Lord, we trust you with your creation. Give us strength and hope today. And let us not leave this place, Lord, until you have empowered us with yourself. Give us what we need in our hearts and in our minds. And, oh God, help us to depreciate in ourselves that you may increase in us. This is our plea and prayer. And we pray for the church of Jesus Christ, that all that are in the church are saved and born again, and waiting for your return. And those, oh God, that will come, we invite. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We will now have our scripture reading by Mrs. Carter. Praise the Lord. Our scripture this morning will be coming from the book of Isaiah, the 61st chapter, verses 1 through 7. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be freed. He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come and with it the day of God's anger against their enemies. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. They will rebuild the ancient ruins, repairing cities destroyed long ago. They will revive them. Though they have been deserted for many generations, foreigners will be your servants. They will feed your flocks and plow your fields and tend your vineyards. You will be called priest of the Lord, minister of our God. You will feed on the treasures of the nations and boast in their riches. The last verse says, instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land, and everlasting joy will be yours. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Carter, for reading of God's word. Uh, we will now have our announcements by Sister Gail Jarvis at this time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Amen. We have our announcements this morning. And see this attentively because there are some directions for us on some of these um, announcements. First of all, let's tag, like, and share our Facebook. Our intercessory prayer is every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. via conference call. 
Real Lovers Bible Study is every Wednesday via Zoom at 7 o'clock p.m. Of course, attending our Wi-Fi is now St. Stephen's free Wi-Fi, password, God is good. Continuously, as a Nichols chairperson of witness, is encouraging everyone to please visit St. Stephen's Vision and Mission Table, vi Mission Page via Facebook. There you will find the daily Sunday school lessons, prayers, as well as various devotionals. Sister Angie Matt Williams, chairperson of Media Ministry, wants to clarify that organizations outside of worship activities will need to request a flyer for their event. This is not an automatic um, um, job of media ministry. So if you need, if your organization is having an event and you would like for Sister Angie to do a flyer of media ministry, please let her know. And if you are going to do your own flyer, the final copy must be approved by the media ministry. So if you do create your own flyer, that's no problem with that, but media ministry needs the proof and that shall go to Sister Williams or Sister Holmes. The witness ministry is providing individual packets of information on addiction, mental health, and grief. We are concerned about the wellness of the total person, spiritually, mentally, and physically. These packets are available to share with family, friends, neighbors, community members, coworkers, etc. Let us witness as we go about our daily activity. Someone needs your prayers and support. She encouraged you, or they encourage you, to reserve your packets of packets today. You may sign up through Reverend Nichols or Mrs. Deborah Myers, who will distribute the packets. The packets will be available, and they are now being available. So please let any member of witness know that you need this packet. And remember, all of us are called to witness our faith in Jesus Christ, who is our Savior. Continue reminding from Sister Wright to please notify her of hospitalizations and bereavement as soon as possible. And the immediate family are parents, grandparents, children, and siblings. Life group CIA are still accepting applications for the teddy bear ministry. And this ministry includes dropping off prescriptions light yard work, grocery shopping, etc. Again, see Brother Holmes, Sister Holmes, or you can see Sister Gail Jarvis. The hard copy of the survey forms for Call to Be Spiritual Reconnect, Reset for Results are available today for completion at the end of service. Please complete on site and return to us today. Please do not take this form with you if you have not completed your survey. This information is needed for an upcoming evaluation meeting this coming week. So please give that to myself or you can give it to Sister Angie. But this form needs to be completed on site if you're doing hard copy. If you're completing online, please submit by 11.59 p.m. tonight to the response. Wisdom Life Group will be meeting Friday, July 1st at 4.30 at the church. This is Friday, July 1st at 4.30 at the church, Wisdom. The SBRC is having a gas card raffle. Donation is $1, first prize is $75, second prize is $50, and third prize is $25. We will greatly appreciate your support. I will have the um, raffle date as far as the drawing on next Sunday. But in the meantime, please see any member of SBRC and purchase your dollar ticket from the SPRC committee for the gas card. Today is Student Recognition Day, and it might be a parent Student Recognition Day. <laughs> Amen. So parents, please remain after service <laughs> so that your children will be acknowledged. And because today is the fourth Sunday, and we've been, it's, um, it's, it's expressing that today will be our student recognition day for pre-k pre to college and if you submitted your forms we will be treated with cc's immediately after worship service so it might be me and the parents amen going to cc's but we appreciate your getting those forms in and this has been done by the education committee as well as the district education committee on that one hey day is coming Hey Day is coming. When? Thursday, July 13th, 2022 through Sunday, July 17th. What is Hey Day? Hey Day will be our Vacation Bible School theme. 
and it's going to be an exciting time. Thursday and Friday will be via Zoom from 6 to 8, and Saturday will be in person with activities for all age levels. Hay rides will be available, a couple of food trucks will be on hand, and other activities. Now, because we know that Pastor Carter has given all life groups a word to continue through the end of the year, CIA has the word commitment. So, as a result, they have for you today commitment forms. Oh, thank God. Commitment forms. Right. You will share the day that you're coming, what you will participate if you will be bringing guests. This will help the planning, but it also will assure us that you will be present. There will be two sets of forms today. The ushers have the commitment form. Take the commitment form with you because if you would like to bring somebody with you, family or friend, we want you to confirm that that person first. So we have commitment forms. Of course, if you're the one that like to do it online, the Google Doc will be available starting this evening to register for Vacation Bible School. This will be an awesome event. And if, if you look at your form, everything is there for you to complete. Your commitment form, please take that with you today. Your survey form, please return that. Life groups, you will be playing a major role. As always, your word will be assigned to you as far as what your uh, activity will be for Vacation Bible School. Sister Angie is asking anyone and all who are interested in being a part of Vacation Bible School, be a teacher, helping with activities, please let her know today or as soon as possible for planning purposes. Again, if you would like to teach one of the lessons or be involved in the activity, please let Sister Angie know today if possible. Everyone will be available to participate. Again, Hey Day is coming. Hey Day is coming. The Regional Medical Center, this is our last week. Our last week to reconcile our debt with the Regional Medical Center, they will pay 50% of your total bill as long as you have the other part in cash. June 30th will be the final day, so if you have any outstanding bills with the Regional Medical Center, any of the affiliates, like physician offices, etc., please, 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 um, take care of this by June 30th. Amen. 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 Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to the proud grandparents, Mr. and Evangelist, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Deaconess Mayfelder have grands that are in the action field. Right. Miss Haley and Miss Kyla Felder, granddaughters, starred in their first movie Fatal Attraction, which aired on TV One recently. They did three episodes, and we will be looking for the times that they will re-air, so we will have the opportunity to watch their grand. Both of them, Haley and Kyla Felder, were on the movie Fatal Attraction, which was aired on TV One. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to all born in the month of June, Wisdom member Ms. Vernell Coulter will be celebrating a birthday on Wednesday, June 29th. Happy birthday to Ms. Vernell Coulter. And please remember to keep our sick and shut-in members as well as the Reed family in our thoughts and prayers. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Jarvis, Mrs. Jarvis, for uh, those announcements. And uh, let us remember, if we can, all of them. Uh, the announcements that we have heard. Uh, our VBS is right upon us, and we ask that uh, we pray for that. And as the committee continue to plan, and the dates are, have been set, and uh, we will be offering them um, throughout the month of July, I hope, or up until that time. Um, you have heard those announcements about participation and all of those kinds of things. God bless all of you, and uh, there is just a whole lot to thank you for. I'm talking about the church, St. Stephen's, and all that you do. And uh, God bless you to the twins that are, you know, movie stars. God bless you and the Felder family. Amen. I know you're proud 
of that. Uh, and we, we'll be listening up, looking for those twins at some point. TB1, you said? Is it TB1? Okay, so God bless them. And um, and as student day and uh, uh, recognition day, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And um, we, we get, that's all right. We know who they are. Amen. God bless you. All of the students who uh, have graduated and the students that are still uh, pressing on in education and uh, we, we lift them up. Education is important. And, um, you know, back in the day, we, we didn't, uh, our, our job was to graduate from high school and get a job. That's still it. <laughs> but that, that was it, you know, and get your behind out the house and go, go to work. And, uh, but God has blessed us and our children. And so they have the mind to, to go f on and we need to support them as much as possible. We're down to um, our, our tithe and our offering. And um, today is media ministry offering. Uh, uh, so if you have any uh, thing to give, any dollar, two, four, five, whatever, 10, 100. Um, <laughs> To give to the media ministry today, we uh, ask that you, there is a, we, we will provide the uh, receptacle for that. And um, um, so, you know, remember them, remember the media ministry. We have a fantastic uh, media ministry. Uh, I, I say that with, uh, with no regrets and no apologies. Amen. They can do some great things, man. I'm, I'm thinking about hiring them. Uh, I got a publication I want to put out there. You know, it's it's, it's entitled "Biblical Conflicts and Resolutions." Uh, I got your interests now. But thank God for our media ministry. They know what to do, how to do, what to do. Amen. Uh, if you have uh, your your uh, tithe and offering, um, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, "Give and it shall be given unto you." Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall people give unto you your bosom, peoples. God can cause people to give to you. That's true. For with the same measure that you meet or give with them, it shall be measured to you again. How you give, how you get from the Lord. That's the word of the Lord. That's, that's not Carter. That's the word of the Lord. How you give is how you get. Amen. You stingy? <laughs> Look for stinginess to come your way. You don't want to sow, don't look for nothing to reap. Amen. I'm a witness that giving and tithing, I'm not trying to make you do nothing. That ain't my job. That's the, that's the Lord's word. But I'm, I'm a witness about it. That tithing, I'm telling you, God promised to open up that window. And he'll do it. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for your faithfulness to your own word. Give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together, and running over. And we believe that. And God, we pray now that as we give to you, whatever it is, you know the heart, you know the mind, you know situations you know circumstances you know conditions more than any of us and so lord we're not judging anybody for not being able to meet this that or the other you know the heart whatever we're giving to you today god receive it and bless it in jesus name amen 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 praise the lord we are going to uh ask that uh our mayor chorus come again
me for us. And y'all can sing two or three songs if y'all want. But we will take one, at least one. Talk the same. You talk. Don't go yeah. around talk. talking about your neighbor. You talk. Don't go around hey, hey, hey. Talk. talking about your friend. You, talk. you can speak to your problem. Yeah. Tell deep be removed. You, talk. you can speak to your trouble. Hey. You talk. Till your troubles be removed. You, talk. you can speak to your sickness. You talk. 
Till your sickness be removed. New talk. We're talking about a new talk. New talk. We're talking about a new talk. New talk. Don't longer talk hey. the same. New talk. No longer talk the same. New talk. Since God stepped yeah, in your yeah. life. New talk. You no longer talk the same. Hey. New talk. You no longer talk the same. New talk. But that ain't all. New talk. Let's tell them about a new walk. New walk. Tell them about a new walk. Anybody here got a new walk? Let's tell them about a new walk. Since God stepped in your life, we'll tell you about a new walk. You can walk your troubles away. You can walk your problems away. Call on God. He'll walk your problems away. Talk about a new walk. Talking about a new walk. Talking about a new walk. I'm talking about a new walk. The places you used to go. Say you don't go no more. The things you used to say. Say you don't say no more. Now you speak in favor upon your neighbor. You're talking love. You talk to your enemy. Talking about a new wall. Yeah, talking yeah. about a new wall. I'm yes, talking sir. about a new wall. Oh, I got a new way of living. Yes, sir. In this thing right here, uh, things I used to yeah. do, I, I don't do no more. Oh. Places I used to go, ah. I don't go no more. New way of living, yes, sir. Since Since Jesus came, came into my life. Talking about a new life. Talking about a new life. Talking about a new life. Jesus changed my life. Talking about a new life. No longer talk to say. My walk is all different. I can speak to my problems. Tell all the pain removed. I can speak to that cancer. Tell cancer be the removed. Speak to my finances. Say, bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me, Lord. Yeah, I got a new way of living. Yes, sir. Jesus came into my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Since it came into my life, I got a new way of walking. God my Lord, my God, my God. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. Y'all gonna mess around and make me get saved up in here. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. We don't hear singing like that too much. Good singing. Since Jesus came into my life. Praise God. I'm a true witness about that. Yeah, there's a change. 
It's a change in me. Boy, y'all gonna make me, I tell you what. You see this stuff here? And it, and you better make sure that down. I'm gonna, I might knock this hole here. I'm gonna have to buy y'all out the church, I tell you. Praise God, amen. amen. I love that kind of singing. All good. All good. You know, I'm a, I'm a gospel quartet man. I hadn't sang in a long time either. <laughs> you better watch yourself up in here. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 59, Isaiah chapter 59. Verses 16 through 21 is what I want to read to us. Isaiah chapter 59. Verses 16 through 21. And out of the King James Version, it says, And he saw that there was, he saw that there was no man. Uh, and he wondered uh, that there was no intercessor. Uh, therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him, and, and his righteousness is sustained him. Yeah. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with a zeal as a cloak. And according uh, to his deeds, according he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgressions in Jacob, says the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, says the Lord, from henceforth and forever the word of God for the people of God. And we say, thanks be to God. Amen. What to use for a subject uh, this morning. Let the spirit lift your standard. Let the spirit lift your standard. Uh, standard is the is defined as a level of quality, a measure of, or a model of comparison. Um, standards can be rules and regulations and policies, bylaws and procedures. Uh, we all live by some standard of another. Oh, yeah. Standards can be systems and traditions and practices and patterns of doing things. Yeah. Standards. We all have standards. We all live by standards. Yeah. And um, there, there are at least three perspectives of standards. You, you either have a high standard, or you have a low standard, or you have a mediocre standard. Uh, there's no such thing as no standard in people's lives. Everybody got a standard that they have or that they live by. Each of us have established his or her own standard of living. Standard then is a choice. We choose how we live. Yes. Amen. We choose how we are. We choose how we're going to be. Amen. We choose how we act. We choose who we hang with. Amen. We, we choose our association. We choose our class. Amen. We choose. That, that's a, we choose our standard. Amen. And so we all live by standards. Amen. Praise God. Aristotle said that there are three tenses in a person's life. Uh, what, he, what he is or what he or she is, what he or she has become, and what he or she is becoming. And all of it depends on standards. What's your standard? Amen. Nevertheless, when we view the, the biblical sense of standard, 
uh, there's only one standard that's necessary and important to God. And it is a spiritual standard. Amen. What's your spiritual standard? Ha have you developed a spiritual standard uh, with yourself and with the Lord? We've already chosen, and many of us have already chosen, what kind of standard we're going to be uh, in our carnal self. Amen. We know who we're going to hang with. We know who ha we have been hanging with. We know who we're going to hang with. Uh, we know what we're going to do. We, we know what we like. We know what we don't like. Yes. Amen. We know what's good for us. We know what's not good for us. Amen. Oh, yeah. And so we have uh, developed a standard for those of us who have lived uh, for quite some time. We uh, develop a standard that we want to stay in. And we get stuck in standards sometimes. And they don't have to be bad. Sometimes they're good. And and, and then, but sometimes standards can cause you to be stubborn. Yeah. Hey, can I be real about it? Yeah. Amen. And as we get old, we establish patterns uh, that are standards that we have to, you know, do routinely every day. And I'm not going to get into all of that. Amen. Wow. And so we have standards. We live by standards. And there are things that we do that we're going to do, praise God. But when it comes to spiritual standards, amen. It's only one way to do this thing. And spiritual standards uh, by God is not concerned with uh, whether one standards are high, low, or mediocre. God is not concerned with your high standard or your low standard or your mediocre standard. He's concerned with your spiritual standard. Amen. Amen. And only you and God knows, praise God, your spiritual standard. People may think they know your standard, your spiritual standard, and, and, and they want to identify and define your spiritual standard, but only you know, and God knows your spiritual standard. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I'm glad. I'm glad that folk don't know. Amen. They think they know. I know Kenneth. Uh, you think you know me. Amen. You, you don't know my spiritual standard. Like God knows it. Amen. Amen. And so in our scripture, we understand uh, that uh, Isaiah, Isaiah uh, was communicating to the people of God about a spiritual standard. It, it was necessary and important to God that Israel had a spiritual standard with him because God is the spirit. And, uh, and so spiritual standard, standard is about living a life before God and before people for God's glory. Spiritual standard, I want to say it again now, is about living a life before God and people for God's glory. Yeah. Micah 6 and 8, uh, the prophet, the 8th century prophet said, uh, The Lord has shown you, O man, uh, what is good. Amen. Yeah. What, what does the Lord require? of thee, uh, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with the Lord. Spiritual standard then is to walk humbly with God and to love people. Now that doesn't seem to be a difficult standard. Amen. Love God and love people. That doesn't seem to be hard, is it? But we make it hard, don't we? Amen. We can do the first part. I'm walking humbly with God. Then when it comes to the people, uh, we come up with some standards about who we like and who we don't like and who we will accept and who we won't accept and who we qualified and who we don't want to qualify, who we want in the circle and we want out the circle, who we want in the church and we want out the church, who we want before the church and we want others to sit behind on the back seat or whatever. Uh, we, we get it messed up when it comes to God. I'm glad God doesn't care about all of that. He has one standard. And we have to reach that. Amen. And, and so God is speaking to us today. Isaiah's message to God's people is a message of reconnect, reset for good living results. Amen. That sounds familiar. Reconnect, reset for good living 
results. Yeah. There's no, no need to reconnect and reset if you're not going to live for good results. That's a standard that God wants us to have as, as, as his people. God's people are still called to live a spiritual standard in a society, amen, that seems to have forgotten God's standard, amen. We live in a society that God is not in the conscience of human beings. God is not even on the agenda of many people. Praise God. Folk don't consider God. And then they want to dictate to God what kind of standard, amen, that should be. And folk are, in, uh, you know, defining their own standard without God. So we have developed the immoral standards in society, corrupt standards. Wicked standards, foolish standards, ungodly standards, amen, self-will standards. It's about what we want to do, amen. As a society, don't you, you just look at society as a whole, amen. Everybody doing their own thing, and, and, and you can't tell nobody not to do their own thing, amen. Can I be real about it, amen. And we, we live in a society, when you, you know, back in the day, when you tell a young uh, person to be quiet, hush now, go home. You know, the, the, the mothers and the fathers, and you know, the, the older folk, you know, y'all know people who, you know, born, you know, way back in the day, praise God, when, 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 when the neighbor, the mama, the grandmama, the neighbor, they, they ain't got to be kin to you, they tell you, boy, go home. You know, straighten up, stop that. Be quiet, you all not act like that. You know, and we took that. Because we know that if you, you say something, if you want to, praise God, you know, they be done holler across them woods. Hey! They get the message somehow. They didn't have cell phones, and many didn't have telephones. Amen. And then many of us had them four party lines, six party lines, whatever, you know, but they got that message, you know. And, 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 but today, if, if you, if you, if you, uh, I, I got to go on, but listen, listen, if you tell young people today, they're coming back and they're going to spray. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. So now, we, this is the standard. This is the standard that they develop. Yeah. You know, don't, they be bristling it up. You, you, you say what? <laughs> you know, and, and let me move on. I'm, I'm trying to give y'all a full course meal. But if I leave anything out, amen, it's not that, that I ain't trying to give it to you. Isaiah indicated to God's people, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. And lift up is the goal. Lift up. Lift up a standard. And this lets us know that uh, God's people, the only way God's people can be lifted up is by the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. A standard that is acceptable to God. Yeah. This is God's standard. One that is acceptable to him. Wow. Praise God. Now, the spirit has to do that. I'm going to get out your way in a minute. But listen, the spirit has to do that. The church has been functioning in so many ways that they have forgotten that the spirit does the lead. That the spirit needs to be involved. That, that we need to be subjected to the spirit's power. Amen. To the Spirit's present. Praise God. Why? Because the Spirit is intelligent. The Spirit is knowledgeable. The Spirit is caring. The Spirit is power. The, the Spirit is a good listener. The Spirit is a helper. The Spirit is a com comforter. The Spirit is a keeper. Praise God. The Spirit is a deliverer. The Spirit is a teacher. That's why we have to subject ourselves to the Spirit. The Spirit is a leader. The Spirit is the connector to God. You don't have the Spirit, you're not connected. Praise God. And so we need the Spirit in the church again. Oh, I'm not talking about emotionalism. Anybody can be emotional. But it's not about emotion. It is about the Spirit's involvement. And so Isaiah reveals to us that the Spirit of the Lord can lift up a few standards in us. Amen, amen, amen. I promised the Lord, praise God, when he called me that I would not go without his Spirit. Oh, praise God. Too many are trying to go without the Spirit. Do my thing, praise God. 
Amen. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna establish, some people establish their own platform. Amen. Rather than the Spirit's lead. Amen. So the first thing I want us to understand out of Isaiah's message to God's people and us today, let the Spirit lift your righteous standard in you. Amen. Isaiah lets us know that God was looking for righteousness among the people, and he couldn't find any. Therefore, he decided to sin righteousness. He couldn't find righteousness among Israel's living. Amen. And he, he, he promised, this is a prophetic message, that Isaiah's message is prophetic for the restoration of Israel in days to come. Because remember when Jesus came, they rejected Jesus. And Jesus is the righteousness of God. And so God sent Jesus the righteousness, praise God, because Israel needed it, but Israel rejected the righteousness. But God is saying to us today, praise God, I have sent righteousness. Sent my word. I've sent the Lord Jesus Christ. I have sent righteousness. He is my righteousness. Praise God. And we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And so we can live this standard. And we have to live it, amen. You gotta, you can't be wrong believers, a right believers living the wrong way. Let me say it that way. You can't be right believers now, living the wrong way, amen. I wish somebody hadn't told me that a long time ago, but praise God, you can't be right believers acting the wrong way. Praise God, you you cannot be that, amen. And so, what I, what we need is the Spirit to lift up the standard in us. In other words, God knows we can do it, but we need help to do it. You can't do it by yourself. You're not smart enough. You're not strong enough. You're not, amen, you're not all that. Praise God. Uh, the Spirit, we need the Spirit to do that for us. And so, Isaiah message applies to us today who belongs to the Lord. The contemporary believers, that's us, may have misinterpreted what righteousness means. Sometimes we don't know what righteousness means. Amen. Um, many now believe that righteousness is defined by their own definitions. Amen. We have become, we, we think we're smarter than God. Uh, we, we think we know more than God. We, we think, praise God, that we can figure out what God already knows. Amen. And some, some believe that righteousness is predicated upon political positions. Yeah. That if you are of a, a, a particular party, amen, that, that, that's your righteousness. So some think righteousness is, is, is their privileges. Uh -huh. Amen. So, some think righteousness is their privileges based on their, the color of their pigmentation. Let me move on. Let me, that, that, that might have flew over somebody here, but y'all know what I'm saying. Uh, and, and, and some believe that righteousness is, is their classification and their economical status and more. But righteousness has nothing to do with that. Praise God. It's, it's in the individual to, to do right. To do right when it's time to do right. To do right when you know to do right, do right, to act right when you know to act right, to treat people right when you know to treat people right. Yes. And righteousness, praise God, is not something you pick up and put down. It has to be lived even when you don't want to live it. Even when they talk about you, even when they mistreat you, even when they scorn you and rebuke you and, and belittle you and condemn you and reject you, you must still live righteous. Some folk can't handle that. Amen. They can't handle talk, but you got to learn how to handle talk. Praise God to keep your righteousness. Can I talk to somebody in here? Anybody ever been done wrong? Anybody ever been talked about? Anybody ever been slandered? Anybody ever been rebuked? Anybody, amen, ever been put down? Anybody ever been belittled? Anybody ever been rejected? You have to continue to live right. The psalm does identify God as a righteous judge. Amen. The judge, God judges the righteous, Psalm 7 and 11. 2 Timothy 4 and 8, the Lord, amen, is the righteous judge. 
And since God is a righteous judge, our righteousness derives from God who is righteous. Amen. If you're in God, you ought to begin to live right. You ought to have righteousness in you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, and, and listen, if you, didn't, you, if you go back a few years, you remember when you were unrighteous? And when you were unrighteous, you, you choose to do anything. I know I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking to me. Amen. You, you choose to do anything. You did some of anything you could do. Amen. And call it right to yourself. Can I talk to somebody? And, and listen, I'm telling you, we were wild, wicked, and wacky. Yes, sir. Rambunctious and riotous. Thank you, Lord. We were all that. Amen. As Paul says, such was some of you. You know, when we get saved, we forget that stuff. Hey, make it. We don't want nobody to know, man. I ain't never been like that, you know. Um, but I, 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 don't, I, you know what? That's the power of God's deliverance to live right. Isaiah fifty nine and seventeen. For He put on righteousness as a breastplate. You, you gotta put it on. Amen. And let the Spirit of the Lord lift up a standard of righteousness in you. Righteousness leads us to salvation. You start living right. You're going you're gonna to get saved if you ain't saved. Uh -huh. Thank you, God. And even when you get saved, you want to do right. Now, how many know you're not going to do right all the time? Uh -huh. If you can do that, you don't need Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. But nobody do right all the time. But every now and again, you run into some people who think they do right all the time. You're right. They they sit in the judgment seat, you know, and, and and you can't talk to them. They can talk to you. Well, you know, the Lord told me to tell you. You know, you need to stop that. You need to do this, that, and the other. But when you start telling them, listen, the Lord, no, honey, uh-uh. Y'all have never run into nobody like that. Praise God. They bring it. They bring it to you. Amen. Self righteous people bring it to you. But if you bring it to them, praise God. You you have become the enemy. Listen, that's my position. You bring it to me, I'm going to bring it back. If you're self-righteous, praise God. Self-righteous people don't ever see they're wrong. They see everybody else is wrong. They, they need the spirit of the Lord to lift up a standard. The second thing I want us to under, uh, understand today, let the spirit lift up a standard against the enemy. Amen. You got to have a standard of righteousness in you. Let the spirit do that for you. Secondly, let the spirit lift up a standard uh, against the enemy, amen, in you. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall, 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 shall lift up a standard against him, him, whoever him is. Amen. We are living in times where we are surrounded by all kinds of enemies. And we need a spiritual, we need spiritual help to fight spiritual things amen oh, yeah. praise god we, we are living in times where we are the enemies of social influences are out there oh. the influence of immorality and corruption and the influence of the enemies of injustices and unfairness and double standards is out there yes, it is. praise god it's an enemy to you amen yeah. And then there are the enemies of biblical standards and false teachers and false doctrines and false devils. Amen. We even have false churches uh, now today. Amen. And so there are all kinds of enemies. Not only do we have those kinds of enemies, but you, you got the actual devil who is uh, the great enemy. Amen. And the folk don't know how to fight the devil, amen, but you fight the devil spiritually. You can't see him. Amen. But you have the power to fight him spiritually. Uh, folk don't, they, 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 uh, they don't know how to fight the devil. They fight people. That's right. So true. But the devil is influencing folk. Don't you know the devil send folk at you? Y'all yeah. ain't going to be real with me. There's some folk around you. There's some folk in your family. There's some folk on your job. Praise God. The devil stirs up. Yes, sir. 
to get on your nerves. I know I'm talking to somebody up in here, praise God. And you need a spiritual standard in you to fight against the enemy, praise God. When the enemy come up upon you, you need to have enough power according to the word and spirit to fight against the enemy. We like to fuss back at people. And, and all you do is make them matter. But you, but you got to go to the word. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. You're not fighting against flesh and blood. You're fighting against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness. That's the, the devil is wreaking havoc on folk. I mean, the devil is running folk crazy. The, the devil is running folk out the church. Can I talk to somebody? The devil is running people out in the streets. And the people are crazy and wild and wacky and mean and evil and hateful and, disguise, uh, and, 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 and disguising, praise God. The, the devil is working on folk mind. You don't be careful. He'll work on your mind. So how do you, how does the spirit lift up a standard? And the, the spirit lifts up a standard, amen, that gives you and I the power to Pull down strongholds. You pull it down. You pull it down by the power of the word, by the power of the spirit. You pull it down. Praise God. Pull it down and put it under your feet. Amen. Second Corinthians 10 and 4 tells you to pull down strongholds. It says our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. The church loses many of their battles because they're fighting the wrong things. Amen. Let the Lord fight your battle because they're, they're the Lord's. Amen. With the spirit of the Lord, we can pull down strongholds. And a stronghold is having the ability to captivate and control and corrupt people. Amen. You can't get out of what you're in. That's a stronghold. You can't get over, amen, what's controlling you. Am I talking to somebody in here? Yeah. Amen, amen. Whatever controls you is a stronghold. Whatever corrupts you is a stronghold. Oh. Amen, amen. I wish I had time to go through all of that. Praise God. Oh. And you, you remember when you were back out there in the day, praise God, and you, 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 was, you, you, you desired things? Yeah. I'm being nice today. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, you desired things, you know, and it had a strong hold over you. Sometimes, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend have strongholds. Yeah. You know, that's how I got married. Oh. Oh, Y'all forgive me for that. I got to go home and eat. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> she had a stronghold on me. I had to be there every Wednesday and every Sunday evening. Spit all my money on there again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Help us, Jesus. Strongholds can be depressed influences and oppressed conditions and possessed situations. And the Spirit of the Lord can lift up a standard against those things. And I'm here to tell you, praise God, as your pastor, I'm here to tell you, praise God, the Word of God is living and powerful. Amen. This is what the spirit works with. Yeah, if you know the word, the spirit says, say that, praise God. And if you say it, I'm going to perform it, praise God. If you tell the devil to get the hell out of my house, he says, I'm going to tell the devil, get out of hell. If you tell him to get off your children, get off your finances, praise God. He says, I'll work that thing out for your good. All you got to do is say the word and I'll work that thing for you, praise God. That's what the spirit does. Period. We can pull it down and we can pull it down, we can pull it down, we can overcome it, we can conquer it. We can bind it and loose it and cast it down. This is the power of the church and believers. We can bring it into captivity. Praise God. You got the power to do what you better do is you better use it. The devil is wreaking havoc. Praise God. He's trying to get into your house, into your mind, into your children, into your finances. He's trying to get, amen, you all messed up and stirred up, but you got you to gotta speak the word of God. 
Call God into it. Amen. Yes, the Bible says, by the Spirit, we can cast out every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm going to get out your way. I'm doing good. Praise God. Amen. I got five more minutes. Praise God. I'm all, I'm, I almost uncooked this meal. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm making some cupcakes. That's going to take a little minute. Praise God. The last thing I want to tell us, let the Spirit produce a standard, a sustaining standard in you. You got to have righteousness. Let Him produce that. And when you get righteousness, God will fight your battles for you, praise God. Because he fight for righteousness, amen. He's not going to help you when you're unrighteous. And he might deliver you. I don't know what God can do, but praise God. But if you're righteous, he's going to fight your battle. I know what I'm talking about. You got to have that standard in you. And he will fight your enemies. And then the last thing I want to tell you, praise God, he'll, he'll put, the spirit will put a power in you, a sustaining standard in you, praise God, that, you, that will persist in your life. The spirit, that's why I need the spirit of the Lord. And that's why you need the spirit of the Lord. The spirit will cause a persistency in you. Praise God. Amen. That you will continue. Here's what the word says out of Isaiah's message. My spirit that is upon you. This is the verse 21. My spirit that is upon you and my words which I have put in you. There, there, there you go. My spirit and my words. You, you know, don't don't worry about you, and you can't do nothing. You ain't strong enough. You ain't wise enough. You, yeah, amen, amen. You ain't you ain't you ain't good enough. Praise God, amen, amen. Hey, I don't care how many degrees you got. I, I got a few myself. You think that devil care about what, what your degree? You don't care if you got a doctorate, a master, a bachelor. Amen. I'm trying to listen. This this education, Dan. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. I got him. Praise God. I got some degrees. Amen. Amen. Let me let me let me sidebar him for a minute. The, the, the best certificate I got you know, home. Yeah, I got a master's. I got a bachelor's a degree in human resource. I, I got a social degree in business technology. I, I got my high school diploma. They gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> They gave me that. <laughs> Get them out of here. <laughs> Ain't gonna never graduate. <laughs> Help them out, Lord. Uh -huh. But but I went to clinical pastoral education. Yeah. That certificate, praise. It's a certificate that is my most prized possession. Why? Because it made me look inward. Made me look inward, amen, at my own self, praise God. And, and, and until you look inward, you, you can forget about growing. A lot of folk look outward, but you, you got to look inward. And I'm telling you, your growth comes from the inside. Amen, amen, amen. That's why it's good. Go ahead and go ahead and condemn yourself. Go ahead and judge yourself. Go ahead and put yourself down. Go ahead and say, you know what, you know, you ain't right. Go ahead and tell yourself that. Because if you go ahead and tell yourself that, you ain't got to worry about nobody else telling you that. Because see, when you don't ever tell yourself that, other people going to tell you, man, you ain't right. And then you get all upset. Because you hadn't told yourself that. But go ahead and condemn yourself. And so you can grow from it. Praise God. A lot of people don't want to look inward. They don't want to look at everybody else. Don't look at everybody else. Praise God. Your growth don't come from other people. My spirit that is upon you, my words, which I have put in your mouth. Y'all better get this. I got it. Amen. I'm using it. I'm, I'm learning it every day. My spirit, my words in your mouth. Yeah. You want to talk to the devil? His spirit, his word in your mouth. Yeah. You want to defeat your enemies? His spirit, his word in your mouth. Amen. I ain't gonna charge y'all nothing for that. That's free. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, I, which I put in your mouth shall dip, not depart out of your mouth. Don't forget the word of God. Don't forget to use what I give you. Don't forget to use my words. Praise God. Speak my words out of your mouth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 
shall not depart out of your mouth and out of the mouth of your seed. That's your children. Amen. Nor out of the mouth of your seed, seed. That's your grandchildren, yeah. said the Lord. Yeah. Amen. If you speak it, you ought to speak it to your children. Your children ought to hear you talk about the Lord. Can I get a win? And your grandchildren ought to hear you talk about the Lord. Praise God. Keep passing the seed. That's what God is saying. He's saying, my spirit will produce a sustaining standard in you. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. We don't want to teach our children. You better teach them. Yes, Praise God. That's your job. After you don't teach them, dang, you ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah. You're on their own now. Praise God. Praise God. You better teach them. They taught us. Amen. They taught us the Lord's Prayer. They taught us to... 23rd Psalm, they taught us about the, the, the 12 disciples, the 12 of them, man. 12 disciples. They taught us the Ten, Com Ten Commandments. It, basics. Amen. Amen. And then when we went to v VBS, v Bible school, you know, we opened up, uh, Sister Angie, we used to open up. Every, every, every student had to give a Bible verse. Y'all know what mine was. Jesus wept. Praise. <laughs> Anybody can remember that, then? Eh? Everybody, everybody in the class, Jesus wept. <laughs> yeah, what else? Praise God. So we've been taught. We've been taught. We have to teach it. Praise God. I'm going on. Listen, the, it's the spiritual sustaining standard. Amen. It's, it's the keeping power of standard. It's for you and for your children and your grand. The spirit. Is the initiation of God's standard yes. and the finisher of God's standard. Though the, the, the spirit initiates, you are drawn to God by the spirit. You must finish with it. You can't, you can't start and then stop. Paul told the Galatians, who has bewitched you? You started in the spirit, now you in the law. You give up the spirit to become rule, rulers and legalistic and law-minded. Amen. If you're going to start in the spirit, finish in it. Yeah. Work on it. The spirit of the Lord is a perpetual presence of sustaining standard. And those who are led by the spirit have, uh, have sustaining standard. I'm finished. I am. In about 10 minutes. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm going to finish. Listen, this is it. Praise God. If you have been led by the Spirit, if you are spiritually born again, if you have spiritual connection with the Lord, amen, Spirit-led people, the Spirit that sustains you will not give you a quitting mindset. Amen. I have... Wanted to quit. Amen. In the first 30, 25, 28 years of ministry, I enjoyed ministry. And I never thought I would want to quit. I'm going to finish. Amen. See if them cupcakes bake yet. We're going to hit them out. Um, but you know who, wanted, who made me want to quit? Wasn't God. Us. We the hardest to get along. I'm talking about church people. I ain't talking about no. You know, the people on the street corner, they always together. They always together. Hey, hey bro. Hey, how you doing, man? You do all right. And, you know, and then, you know, and you come to church. And you, Lips so big and shoot out, they can blow out a light. Boom! <laughs> Church folk. So that's why I wanted to quit. I, I, I'm not going over time, but you know, uh, but but the spirit of the Lord won't let me quit. <laughs> you need that. People who are led by the Spirit, Amen, have submitted to the Spirit. They persevere through persecutions. They, 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 they overcome the obstacles. Yeah. They, they rise above the ridicules of life. 
They, they face their foes. They, 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 they know how, amen, to handle their enemies. They're not afraid to be uh, a Christian. Praise God. They're, they're not afraid to speak the word, to study it, to know it, to share it, to witness about it. Spirit does that. Praise God. If you don't have that, you're going to be a closet Christian. Very few people know you're a Christian except for the ones in the church. See, you come in the church, and coming to church doesn't make you one. Well, where you, how you know, preacher? Because I used to come like that. Praise God. Come to church and then go straight to the juke joint. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing. You know, and, and, and listen, I'm talking about, you know, being a Christian, going to church and, and uh, revival night. And, you know, I sing, sing on the choir and revival night. And I got my, my party clothes in the car. Uh-huh. But until I got born again, I'm going to stop right there. That's what has to happen. So I say to you today, let the Spirit lift your standard. Lift it. That means that you can be lifted. I don't care where you are in your spiritual walk with the Lord. You always can be lifted. Lifted higher. Amen. I believe the brothers got a song. Y'all got a song for us? My brother's got a song for us. And as they sing, I want you to be thinking about that. And those who are looking, listening virtually, think about what I'm telling you. Carnality won't help you as a Christian. Spirituality will be born again. Let the spirit, listen to the spirit because he's speaking and talking to you and nudging you and encouraging you and giving you hope. And get, praise God and comforting you in your time of sorrows and despairs and discouragement, setbacks. This is when the Holy Ghost comes to help you. Help us. Praise God. If 
you sin. And the doctor can't do you no good. Uh, yeah. Fall down on your knees. And tell God about it. That's why I'm telling you. That's why I'm begging you. That's why if you need a blessing, just call on Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noon. Midnight hour. That's why if you need a blessing, yeah, just I, call yeah. on Jesus. I'll call on Jesus. I'll yeah, call yeah, on yeah. Him. Jesus. That's why I'm begging you. That's why if you need, if you need a blessing, just call on Jesus. Why I'm begging you. That's why I'm You need oh, oh, yeah. a blessing. blessing. Oh. Just call on Jesus in the morning. blessing if you need a healing if you need a healing if you need deliverance whatever you need if you need comfort if you need hope and and folk we ain't playing about this I mean somebody know what I'm talking about praise God if you need him if you need him if you need him if you need him praise God he's right on time Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait, wait, wait. Call him and then wait. Because he coming. Hallelujah. And so as I prepare to pray, as we prepare to pray, there may be somebody today that want to give their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We offer that opportunity to 
confess him publicly for the for the Bible says that Jesus said if you are ashamed to own me before people I will be ashamed to own you before my father which is in heaven amen confess him publicly hey, praise God we give you an opportunity there might be somebody who wants to join the church today we want to also offer that opportunity to come and be a part of St. Stephen's Church family. Those that might be listening or viewing by Facebook or by whatever means, we offer that same opportunity to you. Uh, let yourself be known. Let it be known to us and we, will, we can make it happen. But only the Lord can save you. The church can't save you. Only the Lord can save you. Praise God. Amen. And if you need it, Hallelujah. Just call him. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I'll tell you, I called the Lord one day. That's what we need to tell everybody and young people. I called the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I called the Lord one day and he came. He came. He came and saved me. I see you, Larry. I got you. I'm going to pray you. Pray first. Let us pray. Father, we just, we come to thank you and to praise you. And that song we just heard, Lord, if you need the Lord, just call him. We know that that's true. Because he came and he saved us and rescued us. And he has been with us in our trials and our troubles and our tribulations and our discouragements and disappointments and despairs. And he has caused us to be lifted up by the Spirit of the Lord. God, there's somebody today that needs to be lifted up, lifted up. They're burdened, they're down low, they're hurting, they're in trouble, they're in turmoil. Oh God, they, they're down in their spirit. They need to be lifted today. There's somebody listening, Lord, that by virtue and they, they're making a decision whether to bail out of life. Give up on life, but you, you cause them to be listening today, God, in the name of Jesus. They just call that name. The Spirit will lift them up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, Lord, is trying to make their mind up whether they want to go on out in the world or come to Jesus. God, pray by the Spirit of the Lord, oh God, that they will, hallelujah, they will come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus. Call that name. I dare you to call it. You call that name, something will happen. In the name of Jesus, call it, call that name. Praise God. Lord, we pray, God, that you would help us to be more subjecting to your spirit. Help us not to trust ourselves and our own abilities and our own skills and our own talents, even our own gifts in your church, but to trust the spirit of the Lord so that you can lift up a standard in us. We need you and only you can do it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for this worship experience today. And, and we pray much for the unsaved today. We don't care where they are and who they are. God, we send a prayer of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Set your people free in Jesus' name. Run off the devil, God, in Jesus' name. Out of their lives. Let the Spirit set a standard in them today. In the name of Jesus. Draw them by your Spirit. Hear us now and thank you now. We give you honor and we give you glory and we give you praise. Because you hear us, you will help us. Because you know us and we know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen, amen, amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'll get you, Brother Harrison. Go ahead.
Bless you. Bless you, Brother Harrison. We're going to ask Brother Andrew Harrison to come at this time. This is the father of the church. Okay. First, I want to give my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for sparing me to be here today. I want to thank that, be Lord, for that. And next, I want to thank Reverend Pastor Carter for what he did. And, you know, uh, me, of course, they, they want to show out a little bit because I'm not singing with them. I don't. I, I can't understand that, but but I think I think the, the ladies last Sunday got them where they want to go for now. It, it scared that somebody going to take over, so they, they're doing what they got to do. And I I want to thank the whole church, everybody, for being so good to me last week. I want to thank thank the good Lord for that. I can't ever forget by y'all. Can't help with your ladies. You're wonderful. Keep on doing what you're doing. And good Lord, I bless you. Thank you all so very much and have a good day. Thank you, Reverend Paul. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, um, just before I leave, I want to I'm stay low. Stay low. <laughs> stay low. Stay low, brother. Stay low. <laughs> amen, amen. The Lord says, Lo, I'll be with you. <laughs> to the end of the world. Uh, now it's time for our um, uh, yeah, student academic or education. I ain't got nothing. Them, them, them boys need to sing there. Let these brothers sing. Amen. Um, Brother Jackson can sing something for us. Let it be real, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real. Whatsoever you do for the master, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real. Whatsoever you do for the master, let it be real, let it be real. If you pray, let it be real. If you pray, Lord, let it be real. Whatsoever you do for the master, let it be real. So
The goal was 179 and she achieved 185. Her hobbies are dancing, reading and writing, and also drawing. And she participates with our Next Gen One activities. Miss Olivia Goodwine. Next we have Mr. Aiden Pepper. Mr. Aiden is nine years old in the third grade and he attends South Carolina Connections Academy. His hobbies are piano, ten tennis, computer coding, taekwondo, blue belt, painting, loves to study space and science, learning to play golf and all sports. Scholastics Awards, most studious and all A's for the first year award. Church participation, next gen one. Elijah Larkin, grandma, I mean, uh, grandma, auntie. Elijah Larkin is a fourth grader at Sheridan Elementary. His parents are Rex and Keyshawn Larkin III. I apologize to the other parents. I forgot to mention you all, but <laughs> I think they know y'all, but I apologize for that. Um, he loves writing and playing basketball, and he participates with Next Gen One as well as Next Gen One Children Youth Choir. <laughs> Denasia Fields. Grandma is coming. Don't go far, Sister Lenny. Denasia is the, the parents of Dion and Shanice Sharice Thompson. She was promoted to the fifth grade. She loves praise dancing, TikToking, and watching TV. And her church participation is Youth Choir and Next Gen One. This is for Denasia Fields. Cardell Larkin. Cardell is the son of Daytron Larkin and Shanika Wade. He is going to the sixth grade. He attends W.J. Clark. He loves to play basketball. And he's part of Next Gen One, the Next Gen Children and Youth Choir. Now we will do, and Daytron was, I mean, um, Cardell was part of the sixth grade, but now we're going to do our sixth grade through 12th. And that is by Miss um, Lorraine Muhammad. She's going to present for that age group. We have Miss Kadejia Pepper. She is going to the sixth grade, am I correct? Miss Kadasia Pepper will be going to the sixth grade. They have the yellow. Mm -hmm. The parents of Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Pepper. She also attends South Carolina Connections Academy. Her scholastic awards are standing achievements in math and all A's for the entire year. Hobbies, piano, tennis, reading, taekwondo. She's a black belt and enjoys learning to play basketball. Kadija is gifted and in the gifted and talented and was skipped to the sixth grade to the gifted and talented math. Kadeja Pepper. London Green. London is a sixth grader at Felton Laboratory School. She enjoys basketball and volleyball. She made the AV honor roll all four nine weeks, and she is involved with Next Gen 2 and also Next Gen 2 Children and Youth Choir. Oh, and she also a praise dancer. Thank you. 
Brother Anthony, Caleb Holmes. Caleb Holmes, seventh grader at William J. Clark Middle School. He loves playing basketball, baseball. He received a trophy for this activity. He made the Garden Elite Basketball AAU team. That's where he is today. He's in the championship game for Mr. Caleb Holmes. He sings with the Children and Youth Choir. He's a youth um, participant and active in Next Gen One. And his mentor is Chris Jones. Nala. Nala is a, a is a senior. I mean, sorry, a, se a rising freshman, and she will be attending the high school for health professionals. She made the honor roll all for nine weeks. She enjoys singing, playing the piano, volleyball, and she also is a member of the Lady Cubs Club, which is a AAU team, volleyball team. Her church, her church participation is active church mentor. Sings with Children and Youth Choir, Next Gen 2. She's a member of the NAACP. She's a treasure for the NAACP, praise dancer for St. Stephen. <laughs> Amaya Govan, the granddaughter of Sister Angie. You're going to have to get this one, Angie. Someone has to take your picture for you, baby. <laughs> okay, Kenya is a rising 11th grader. Parents, Keena Mack, Patrick Govan, and her grandmother is Angela Williams, and her grandmother is Rebecca Harrison. She loves singing, participating in a social group, Ladies of Kappa League, texting, <laughs> social media, and talking to friends on the phone. She's part of the media ministry and also participates in the Next Gen 2. She also is a member of the NAACP. All right. <laughs> Christian Hubbard. She is the granddaughter of cousin well, Ms. Ruth L. Johnson. <laughs> Her parents' name is Stanley Hubbard and the late Tina Johnson McDowell. She attends a high school for health professionals. She is a cheerleader. Let her come through down here so she can get a picture. Okay. And she participates in the Next Gen 2, Next Gen 2 Choir, and the NAA. CP. Amen. Now we will have Reverend Nichols to come forward. These are graduates. These are those who've graduated from high school, going on to college, and also our college participants. Reverend Nichols. Our the blue need to come back. If you have blue, please return. Please return the blue. We have to just look and see. You'll handle that at the end. But it's return to blue, though. If you'll, you'll get everything straight, don't worry. Yeah, the pre the pre K. The pre K, and then the middle school to high school gets the yellow. So if you're not in middle school or high school, but we'll get it straight at the end because the, the amounts are different. Okay. Okay, now to Joy Turk Band. He just recently graduated from Bowman High School, and he will be moving on to the next level. He made the AB honor roll second, third, and fourth nine weeks. He loves creating basketball, singing, hanging out with friends, and video gaming. His church participation is media ministry. Male Chorus, Next Gen 1, Children's and Youth Choir, as well as Next Gen 2, and a member of the NAACP, and also his mentor is Mr. Nolton Green. <laughs> Next, we have Jermaine Holmes. He is currently... He's in a duel. He's at Orangeburg Technical College, along with Claflin University. 
His major is business and mass communication. He loves making beats and music. He's a member of Male Chorus Aces CIA, and his mentor is Mr. Larry Shuler. <laughs> Mr. Jordan Jones. Chris Chris wants to talk to Jordan is a sophomore at North Carolina Central University, but we have some great news. I think he is going to be coming to SCSU. <laughs> yes, SCSU, and we'll be on the March in 101. <laughs> but while he was at um, North Carolina Central, he was um, honorary brass ensemble member, honorary symph symph symphonic band member, the Men's Achievement Center. He was an uh, alter member of the Sound Machine, of the band member, and participated at the Consortium of Collegiate Musicians and second chair with the French Horn. He is a member of ACES and CIA, Jordan Jones. <laughs> okay, hubby, Marcus Jarvis. Marcus is a recent graduate of NC North Carolina A&T University with a BS degree in biology. He will pr be pursuing further studies at North Carolina A&T upcoming fall for biology. He loves to play the drums, music, and he loves making beats. His church participation, he's a drummer, member of the CIA Young Adult, ACES, and the Men's Ministry. His mentor is Mr. Nolton Crane. We're so proud to acknowledge Ms. Anisha Muhammad. I think somebody got a fever, but we'll deal with it. just recently completed college, but she's currently attending Queens University to pursue her master's. Her hobbies are reading, working, and shopping. She is a team, she's on the team vision board, CIA, ACES, and she just recently became a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority chapter beta zeta omega go girl <laughs> and i'm her mentor amen and we are proud to acknowledge mr devin frederick mr devin frederick is in graduate school at Strea university and he will be receiving his mba in october 2022 And his hobbies are playing the drums. Now he's a singer with the male chorus. <laughs> and coaching, that's his love. If you're praying for God to bless him in that area, coaching sports. And like I said, he's a church drummer, member of the CIA, which is the Young Adult Ministry. Amen. So we want to now at this time acknowledge our students who weren't able to get there forms in, but we don't want to not recognize you, so you can please stand, so we can acknowledge. Mr. Chandler, you want to tell us? You're at? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we have it for you. We, we have a few extra medals. I, we will let you get one. Okay. All right, baby. All right. Good enough. All right, Reverend, Reverend Nichols, we got some aces up in here, new ones. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right, 
<laughs> okay. Awesome. Good. Okay, thank you all so much. At this time, we're going to have um, Sister Rachel just to say a few words, and then Reverend Carter. But thank you all for your patience. We have to take our time to recognize our students and all that they do, and let's continue to pray for them as they go towards their next level. Thank you, Sister Bobby Levy and Sister Shawnee Shuler. And make sure y'all sign um, those other colors. Amen. <laughs> God bless you, sister. right. in the CC's after service. So we will be going to CC's. So feel free to join us. Amen. Huh. <laughs> Joe's the one who can eat for his kids, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jarvis, and uh, to all uh, that have participated today, and to our students. God bless all of our students and um, all of us are students in one way or another particularly in the Lord God bless all of you for your achievements and uh, your accomplishments and for the goals that you have met and goals that you have set before you God bless you I know he'll be with you amen uh, in accomplishing those things praise the Lord amen got some brilliant students in here uh, 3.0s and all of that. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you um, for your efforts and your smartness and all of that. And uh, we pray much for you. Thank God for uh, Ms. Carter and her leadership today to our musicians, to all of them, to our ushers, and to all uh, to, that have blessed us today. To this mayor chorus, God bless you for your ministry today to us and we thoroughly has enjoyed it to those that are watching by virtue by way of virtue uh, we thank you for attending and we pray god's blessings upon you as well the remainder of this day and we pray that we'll see see each other again amen to god be the glory on uh, cc now i know where that is you're, you're looking Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, let us stand, brothers. Let the church sing. Mm -hmm. Let the church. God has spoken, let the church say amen. 